Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 3 of my Automate Everything series for Modern Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I will be automating the Infusion Altar from the mod Mystical Agriculture using the mods RF Tools Utility for the timer and mechanism for the item pipe, although you could use any timer or any item pipe to actually complete this automation. So let's get started. Uh, first off, you want to place down the infusion altar and it will show you a shadow of where you need to place the eight infusion pedestals. So let's go ahead and throw those down right now. Um, so once you have these down, we will actually need to place down three chests and let's go ahead and place them here, here, and here. And actually we'll need a fourth chest as well. Um, and let's go ahead and put this, the fourth chest right here. Um, I could have placed that a little bit better, but that's okay. So what we'll want to do now is let's take a look at a few of the recipes because we will notice a trend if we look at if we leaf through the recipes here. Uh, most of the recipes include uh, three uh, or uh, four of these essence items. Excuse me, um, prosperity seeds in the middle, or sometimes these unattuned augments as well, and then uh, four other items around the outside. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our item pipe here and we're going to link this chest in the middle to the infusion altar right here. So let's go ahead and make that item pipe. And so I actually need to use my configurator right here to change this to be output. So this chest will be for the uh, primary item here. So let's just go ahead and call this the uh, main item. Uh, and oftentimes it's uh, prosperity seeds, sometimes it's other things as well. So let's go ahead and set up this chest over here to be the essence. And so let's go ahead and once again bring it out the top. We need to connect this to four of the altars. So let's take this uh, this way and let's connect it up right here right here and then let's pull this around drop it down here and then on this last one as well so this last one it needs to connect to the other the remaining four infusion pedestals so let's go ahead and do that now let's pull it out of this side and i actually think i forgot to uh, change that to pull um, what we need to do here is have it go this way at first we actually need to disconnect that and then we can have this kind of go around um, I'm not sure if I want if I need to I don't think I need to have that go all the way around but uh, I do need to check that later on so let's go ahead and put my signs here so that we know where we need to put everything this will be the essence items um, Usually, anyways, it's essence. Uh, some of the other time, some some of the recipes, it's not essence. Um, and this will be the uh, let's just call it the other outside item. Um, not a super creative name, but that's okay. So, like I said, if if we take a look at the recipe, there's essentially you'll have an essence item. A lot of times, you'll have seed uh, seed base, and then you'll have the other item. Um, in some of the recipes, you actually have a combination of other items, but usually they're all this, the other items are all the same. So this will work for most recipes anyways. So what we're going to do is take a look at one of the seeds. Uh, I think it's called the coal seed. Very unimaginative. Um, and this actually would not be a very useful seed, but it's uh, something that we can do um, if that's actually what it's called. Yes. Okay, so coal seeds. The recipe here is uh, Prudentium Essence, Coal, and Prosperity Seed Base. So let's go ahead and throw in four of these guys into that chest. And they all should go where they need to go. And it looks like they are at this point. Um, and then the coal can go over here. And then the final item, which is the seed base, can go right here. And you'll notice that nothing has started yet, even though everything is in its proper place. Uh, the infusion altar actually needs a resident signal to start, so that's why I have the timer here. So let's get rid of that torch that's in the way of my timer. And let's go ahead and set this to 200, 
because I I'm pretty sure that that's a good delay and it as you can see already started and I don't have anything pulling that out because I was gonna do this right here and have this pull out right here um, the altar is smart enough that it will not pull out unfin unfinished items out of the side if you used an item pipe and so it will only fin pull out the finished items so now that everything is down let's go ahead and throw everything in here and let's see if it can autom automatically produce several of these coal seeds uh, before actually declaring this a good automation here so let's see it should start a new infusion every 10 seconds if my item pipes are quick enough. Uh, I'm not sure if they will be. It kind of looks like they are. So cool. As we can see, the finished items will come into this chest here. And if you were smart about it, you could worm this uh, item pipe around and actually have it come out here. So you don't have to actually kind of go into the meat and potatoes of this to pull it out. But whatever. So... Uh, in today's episode, I showed you how to automate the infusion altar from Mystical Agriculture. Uh, you can get lots of very nice seeds from this mod, and I often use the seeds from this mod in conjunction with uh, the thermal expansion uh, phytogenic isolator, I think it's called, to get lots of cool items. So it is a uh, very useful process here. Uh, if you learned something today, or if you feel like you learned something today, definitely drop a like down below. And if you enjoy watching uh, automation-based content in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel because that's what I do. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 8 and I will see you next time.